Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Kid Nova action figure, part of the uh, Marvel Titus build a figure wave. Uh, I just picked this guy up a few days ago and I'm really happy to because um, I have most of the set complete and I get the torso so I don't lose all the parts. But uh, I did hear about this character and I feel bad for the writer. Um, if you don't know, uh, go check... Uh, Trying to make Prime's video for after this, I guess. But uh, there's a nice picture of uh, Kenova. Here's the back of it. Okay, let's try to keep this steady as possible. Uh, if you want to read the read-up part, it now all the other figures in this weave are right here. Uh, reviewed Drax, Fast Astro, Star Lord, and that's it. And there's the build figure. And yeah, uh, yeah, nothing else going on. Uh, Kenova logo right there. Uh, let's get this guy, this kid, opened up. All right, we got uh, Kenova out of the package, and I've got to say, man, I hope this guy goes on clearance on like Amazon or something, cause this guy is. I can't say he's crappy, but he is like one of the worst figures I've ever gotten. Uh, he's so loose. And there's some joints that do not... It's like, it was so hard just to get him standing like this. Uh, which is very unfortunate. So, I'm, again, I'm really hoping for them to uh, put this guy on clearance real quick. Because uh, he, he is an interesting character and I do want to read up on him. Uh, I want to read up... Uh, you can hear my cats running around. Not, not anymore. But, uh, yeah, like... Uh, all new, all... Different, I believe, all new, all different Avengers. Uh, I was uh, Miss Marvel, which I did read up on. Very cool character. Uh, Miles Morales, which I really do want to read up on. Uh, and this guy, and a couple other people. Obviously, I can't name off the top of my head, but uh, anyway, he does come with one accessory. He comes with this little thing. Uh, he can't stand. Uh, he. He's just there. He's got some nice details, nice sculpting, but nothing too important. Uh, nice translucent. It's kind of like a purple hue. I'm not sure if you can see it, but... Yeah, it's kind of got a purple hue. But uh, you can't stand. You can't do anything. So, anyway, so take a look at Nova. Uh, one of the things that is very loose on this figure is the head. Uh, like... It's now he's not gonna do it because he's on camera, but I can't get him looking dead on. Like he has to look up a little bit to even look straight. Uh, but I do like the like the mask. I think it's a very nice uh, mask. He's got a little paint flaw right there. Nothing to complain about. But uh, I like the eyes. I think the eyes look very good. The helmet. I mean, again, looks very good. I love the gold. Looks very nice. Kind of reminds me of Booster Gold. Let me know in the comments if they kind of sort of have anything in common. Uh, I believe that Booster Gold had a kid and he became Booster Gold too. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to try to. I'm not a huge fan of Booster Gold myself, but I would like to be. I would like to be a fan of every superhero. But uh, he's got the nice logos there. It's nicely sculpted. A little extra plastic there. I kind of like this like dark navy blue color. Just a little marbling there. There's the gold. This is now this is the exact same body mold except for the head, obviously. Uh, as I think the arms and legs are the same body mold as uh, the mouse. See, no, I can't even get him to stand. It's so stupid. Uh, no, now he does. Wow. Okay. Um, but. I do have them near me, I'm just, I don't want to dig them out, so, uh, sorry if you wanted to see it, but, anyways, uh, articulation, uh, give me a moment, alright, uh, the head can move up quite a bit, uh, the, it can move down, it can move side to side, there's a head pivot, the arms can move out, I got it to do it earlier, but there we go, there's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and the hand is on a hinge. 
think it's a swivel. It's a nice ab crunch, this far forward, this far back, very nice. There is a waist swivel, the legs can move out that much. There is a thigh cut, double bend at the knees, boot rotation, and this is where I kind of have a problem as well. The foot can hinge and pivot and no side to side movement, that's why the boot rotation is there. But overall, I think he's a good looking figure. Do I wish he was better? Oh my god, yes. Like, look at that head, I'm not even... I'm not even moving it that much, and he's like moving all over the place, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, again, I would really like to learn about this character. I believe the build figure is actually a villain of his, so, uh, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. Uh, a nice touch. But everyone was kind of disappointed when they heard the build of figure was that guy, but it's whatever. I think he just looks like a cool character. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to see so much more content. Uh, just to, like, I had to bend his foot like that. That looks extremely awkward. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Why am I saying this? Uh... Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to see so much more Marvel Legends and Black Series and uh, NECA and DC Collectibles. Uh, right now, I think I'm in a phase where I'm more focused on uh, Hasbro items, so, uh, and hopefully some new WWE figures, if I can find some that I'm actually interested in. Uh, Ringside Collectibles, uh, hit me up. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave my emails down in the description one day, but anyways, uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.